Eyebrows and eyelashes both help frame the face. The eyebrows help frame your outer face and the eyelashes help frame your eyes. Today's video is going to be about your eyelashes. Um, the proper care for eyelash extensions as well as your own lashes. Let's start with your own lashes. When wearing your own lashes, what you want to focus on is making sure that area is number one clean and also when applying mascara that you don't have any clumps. Um, if you have long lashes, the best thing for you to do is to wear mascara. That is the most simplest thing. You can buy mascara in any different formula that you like, any different brand that you like. But the thing about mascara is how you keep it. Rule number one, do not let anyone other than yourself use your mascara. Mascara is something that is directly placed on your lashes and that is something that is personal. That's almost like someone wearing your underwear. That is something that you don't want to share. Reason being is because there's things that grow around your eyelashes that could be spread. Just as if someone had conjunctivitis, sharing mascara is a way to get that. So you don't want to share your mascara at all. Also with mascara, you want to keep in mind that every six weeks, six to eight weeks, you need to be changing your mascara. Reason being is another uh, like I said, those things that grow around your eyes, you're dipping it into the tube every day for two months straight. You want to go ahead and clean that, and the way you clean that is by purchasing a new one. Also, in your mascara, if you're trying to get more mascara, you don't pump the mascara wand. What you simply do is take your mascara wand and scrape around the sides of the tube, and that will give you more mascara on your wand. When applying mascara to your lashes, what you want to make sure is that you start from the very innermost part of your lashes all the way up to the tip. You can do one to two coats depending on your liking. I like to place one coat just to see how it looks and then if I want more, I build from there. You can let it dry and then go ahead and start your steps as far as building your mascara. What you also want to do is make sure that when you're at the end of your lashes, you want to pay close attention to those because the end of your lashes is where it stops. So you always want your eyes to appear more open and also appear as if you're wide awake. So what you do is once your mascara dries or if you like to apply this on your first step, you take your mascara wand and you place it right at the tip of your lashes. And what you would do is something like this. You just take your wand and hit right at the tip of your lashes. What that's going to do is accentuate your lashes and make them appear to be longer. For bottom lash mascara, I recommend that you go ahead and just take your, your mascara wand, kind of tilt over, and just apply to your bottom lashes as such. You don't need a lot for your bottom lashes, but it is also something that you can do if you want to enhance your look. If you're doing a more of a natural day look, I would recommend one to two coats of mascara. If you're going out and you don't prefer to wear eyelash extensions, I would recommend you apply three to four coats of mascara depending on the formula that you're using. Keep in mind, mascara is sold everywhere. I personally do not spend $18 for mascara because I have to change my mascara every six weeks. So every six weeks, I don't feel like paying $18. So what I do, the best mascara that I have came across is Maybelline mascaras. I love them. I can purchase anywhere from the Falsies to the Great Lash, which is a staple, uh, to the Great Lash with a big wand. I mean. I like to purchase mascara from Maybelline because it has never failed me. Um, the formula, the smell doesn't bother me, but what you're going to do is when you purchase mascara, you're going to purchase to your liking, of course.
Now, also with mascara, I want to share that some companies, they have brown mascara. Some companies have black, extremely black. All of them, all of the companies actually should have a black and extremely black mascara. I only wear black mascara. That's just my personal preference. I really don't see a need to wear brown mascara. But if you choose to wear brown mascara, what I would recommend is if you're going to wear, if you're going to be sweating, buy waterproof mascara because it doesn't look cute to have black or brown running down your face. If you're in a sweaty environment, if you start crying, you know, things happen. So with waterproof mascara, you kind of have to be careful when taking off your mascara because regularly just washing your face sometimes won't work. What you need to do is get a sensitive eye makeup remover um, and put it on like a little cotton ball and let it sit on your eyeballs, um, correction, <laughs> sit on your eye lashes for a bit and then go ahead and wipe them away and then, you know, rinse as normal. Waterproof mascara can be tricky because sometimes what happens is you think you've gotten it all off and then you wake up in the morning and you still have black around your face. So what you want to do is go ahead and let that eye makeup remover sit for like maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds and if you have to reapply, do so. Waterproof mascara works in lovely situations, especially if you're getting married, anywhere where you know that you're going to be tearing up or however. I usually don't use waterproof mascara only because of the simple fact that when I'm ready to take my makeup off, I'm ready to take it off. So just be mindful of waterproof mascara does take a little bit more effort to take off than normal mascara would. Next we're going to talk about eyelashes extensions. The do's and don'ts of eyelash extensions. First of all, what you want to do is make sure if you're going to get your eyelash extensions done professionally, you need to ask and inquire about the maintenance and the care of them. Some places have different maintenance um, instructions and care instructions depending on where you're going. Eyelash extensions can go anywhere from, I've seen $20, $25 to $250 for semi-permanent lashes. If you're one of those people like me who like to do their lashes at home, I'm going to go over basically the do's and don'ts of eyelash extensions when applied for yourself. First, what you want to make sure is that you're getting eyelashes that fit your style. You don't want anything too overly dramatic unless you're going for an avant-garde look and nine times out of ten, that's for photo shoots, editorials, and things of that nature. If that's not what you're going for, lashes that look like these. Uh, I don't see a need for you to ever wear these out, especially, I don't care if you're going to a club. These would be more for like stage and avant-garde if you're looking for a certain type of look. The lashes that I have on now are kind of long, but they're not as dramatic. What you want to make sure is that you're wearing lashes that fit your style. If your makeup is something that you know you're going to the grocery store or you're going out, you don't need dramatic lashes. Everyone thinks that when you have lashes that are long and flowy that your eyelashes appear long you know, and big. That's not always the case. When you have eyelashes that are number one too big for your eyes, what they do is they close your eyes and that's not what you want. Eyelashes are meant to extend and enhance, not close. So that's why choosing a style of lash is very important. Secondly, knowing what type of adhesive to use for your lashes. Hair glue, hair bonding glue, is not okay to use for your lashes. Number one, that is chemicals that are made for your hair and for an area that's not normally affected by things like your vision. So there's chemicals and all type of different things that are in hair glue and on the bottom of bonding glue or in the back it says it's not safe for your eyes. So you're taking a big risk, number one, placing them on your eyes if you're trying to get them to be semi-permanent. My suggestion to you is to invest if you want to wear them for longer than, you know, the time that normal eyelash glue would wear. I would suggest you seek someone, a professional, to go ahead and allow you to wear them for more than maybe a month or however. Um, eyelash glue is very inexpensive. I believe this is duo is what I use 
and it, it works like a charm when I tell you um, I've had people who tell me that they wear their eyelash eyelashes after I've done them for one to two days me personally I take them off the night that I get home I don't like I don't like anything number one on my eyelashes while I'm sleeping because once you're sleeping you your body the mucus in your body um, you know, you wake up and you have like those, the eye crust, your body is creating what's called room. Um, and that is basically your bodily fluid is coming into the corner of your eye. So that's why I mean like that is not safe. And if you ever seen someone with eyelash glue for um, eyelash adhesive, I'm sorry, not bonding glue for eyelash adhesive, you notice that they don't really have eyelashes once they take them off. It is too harsh and it does not allow for you, your eyelashes, to breathe. So just like your hair, if you're not getting any oxygen or your hair is not breathing, it's not going to grow. And this particular area is very sensitive. I would hate for you to walk around and you have no eyelashes. That is not, it's not cute. So you want to make sure that you're using a glue, a, um, glue that is for the eyelashes. Um, Duo is something that I recommend. Um, it is, it works wonders. This um, dries clear. It's, it goes on white, but it dries clear. They also have another one that is, uh, it goes on black and it dries black. I'm sorry, it goes on gray and dries black. So it's up to you what you want to use. And normally you don't need lashes for, if you have a good mascara, you don't need lashes for two to three weeks. That's my personal opinion. I mean, I've had the false lashes and I didn't like them because once I took them off, I was missing, my eyelashes were very thin. I didn't like the way they looked. If you really take care of your skin and you take care of your eyelashes, you can wear mascara and get away with that nice doughy look. Instead of walking around with what I call the Betty Boop, because every time you blink your eyes, boop, 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 boop. It almost looks like you're about to cause a train wreck because your eyelashes look so heavy and they're so closed. And then another thing I hate to see is once you have, you know, used the bonding glue, it looks gray on the top of your lashes. Like, that's to me, that's not attractive. Um, so you want to make sure that you're using the correct glue um, for your eyelashes to ensure safety, also so that you don't go blind, also so that you have lashes once you take your eyelashes off. Now, thirdly, talk about the uh, size of your lashes a lot of times especially in my case I have small lashes what you don't want to do is always because it comes in a pack you just use these for example that you're gonna use this whole entire lash that's not always the case everyone's eyes are not made the same way everyone's you know some people may have bigger eyes they need the whole lash some people have smaller eyes and they don't so what you want to do is you want to measure them before you put them on your eyelashes before you actually go ahead and put the glue on and make it so that way they stay and then you can always cut your lashes just like I did with these that I have on here I just cut the piece um, that I didn't need off and if you can always use these just as outside lashes if one day that's all you need just a little extension to you know lift your eye a bit so you don't always have to use what's in the package you want to make sure that it's tailored to you so what I use to cut my eyelashes with I cut my eyelashes with these scissors they're very small minute I mean you can use whatever scissors that you like but this is what I use so you want to make sure that when you're wearing your eyelashes that they're custom to you they actually suit you and they look well on you um, if you f find that, like for me, my eyelashes, my eyes are small, so anything I put on them, they look very dramatic, and it might not be the case of the lashes that I'm wearing. So you want to make sure that you're wearing things that look proportionate, because what I would hate to see is like, I don't know if you can see it with my, you see how the lashes kind of come up here? If your eyelashes reach above your eyebrows, that, that's not okay you want to make sure that you have like shorter lashes they're supposed to be a half to one third of an inch a little bit longer maybe a half just so they can like peek over your lashes and they look natural that's the look that you're going for fourthly um, taking off your lashes is important as well because once again you don't want to lose any hair in the process of putting them on and taking them off you want to keep as much you want to keep your hair there what's there there you don't want it to go away so what I do is I take a q-tip and I may take some eyelash um, 
some eye makeup remover or nine times out of ten after you know I don't pop, apply a lot of glue on my lashes very few cases I do unless I'm really like I want them to stay I can just peel them off from the be from here out that's what you should be able to do if you have to go through any other removal process you've applied too much it is a trial and error eyelashes applying them number one is, is something that you have to get accustomed to um, I've been doing makeup for about three years now and I'm still not apply, uh, accustomed to applying them to myself I have to almost get in the mirror and be like you know because you know it it takes time it is something that you have to learn it's a process so I'm gonna show you guys in the clip of how I apply my lashes and again these lashes are a tad bit long for my face um, but this is all I really had and they don't look that bad so you want to make sure that when you purchase your lashes um, you can purchase lashes from any price I'm telling you I've seen lashes for forty dollars and I've seen lashes for a dollar seventy nine so it's up to you and your your preference some people like the feathers on their lashes Lashes, you know whatever you like but you want to make sure that they look how they're supposed to look not they want you want them to look like lashes not anything else not wings not bat arms none of that you want them to look like you know lashes so I'm going to show you guys a clip of how I actually apply the lashes to my um, face and I'm going to show you how I bend them I put the glue on and then you go back over and you put a little um, eyeliner to you know cover the line of the lashes just a tad bit so I'm gonna put that in here in the video so you guys can see exactly what I do and again these lashes are a tad bit long and I'm no pro at all I'm just you know I know a little bit more of as far as the care and the maintenance the application technique you know if you take from it what you can so you guys are gonna see that and then we're gonna come back and talk about what you know what is the normal for your lashes, what you don't want to happen.
Okay, the norm for your lashes is that they're going to wear, sometimes they may lift depending on how much glue you have on them. Um, when wearing your lashes like these, especially with the duo for more than three days, I don't recommend it because again, your eyelashes are not given enough ch a room to breathe. So what I do is I take mine off um, when I get home. Some people wait two and three days because they like the, the effect that the eyelashes give. What you also want to be mindful of is too, like I said, the room grows in your eyes, but your eyelashes are meant to collect dust, dirt, and stop it from getting into your eye. So you don't really want anything there that's going to, you know, allow a big amount of dirt, dust. That's why you don't wear them for long periods of time. Normal wear out of the, with the duo glue um, is what I've used, is about one to two days is from what I've heard. Um, I take mine off as soon as I get home, but if you choose to wear them for one to do two days, be mindful because that means you're really not cleaning them as, as you should be because you want them to last a little longer. So just be mindful of the safety of that. I hope this video was helpful about your eyelashes, um, natural as well as eyelash as well as eyelash extensions. If you guys have any questions, please hit me up down below. Or you guys also can uh, reach me on Facebook. I'm always answering questions there. N-E-E-K Ford, Neek Ford. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank y'all.